Hi everyone, good morning. I have gotten a lot of response on PRP injections and what you can do as an adjunct for PRP injections. So let's talk about that today. I am Dr. Poe Ravel, uh, 35 plus years in practice as a podiatric physician. So PRP stands for protein rich plasma. And what the technique is, is that uh, your blood is drawn and then it is spun down until you actually only get plasma. And so the plasma is then injected into an area where you have tendon um, issues. It could be chronic tendonitis, it could be a partial tendon tear, and it could be scar tissue on the tendon. So I have found this to be very helpful in my practice um, for those three issues. Those, uh, we basically in podiatry do foot and ankle, soft tissue to the knee, uh, but you, this can, this is the same rules for anywhere in your body. So number one, once you get a PRP injection, what else can you do? First, uh, you can add on a laser. So they have lovely lasers. Uh, we have ones in our office. We have another video on laser treatments, but it is a, it's a laser done at a certain wavelength. Uh, to help pain. And basically it starts to break up scar tissue and decrease the inflammatory effect. Lasers can be added on the same day uh, as PRP. I find it much more helpful to do it two weeks after. Um, this way you can see what the PRP injection does. Two weeks after that, you start laser treatment. You start a laser treatment, it can be done uh, two weeks after PRP and then once a month until pain goes away. Number two, two weeks after your PRP injection um, and some immediately after PRP injection, if it's because of an injury, you can add on a brace. So ankle braces, foot braces, bracing of any other part of your body definitely works for up to two weeks as you increase activity. You don't wanna use it for more than two weeks because it actually um, can be a hindrance in healing. Um, so, so up to two weeks after your PRP injection, use a brace. Number three, topical pain relievers. These are awesome. These are over the counter. We have a whole video you can check um, in our, in our, um, on our website or any of our productions um, on the topicals that are available over the counter that can be added on to your PRP injection um, from day one. I always like to start. Um, uh, topicals two weeks after because this way I can see what the PRP does and we can add on topicals. They can also be used before and after activity. And number four, uh, you do not want to do more than three PRP injections in a year. Um, if it's not working, then you don't want to keep doing it and having the added expense. So I hope those four things help as far as post initial PRP injection for tendonitis, tendon pain, and scar tissue.